Okay, so I think that kind of wraps it up. Thank you, Shelby, yeah. for taking the time to show us what you do. Thanks for everything you're doing here to make sure we're putting out a quality product. Let's go ahead and check back in with Dan, see if we've got all his bases covered. How'd we do there, Dan? You both did great. I did want to add something that customers ask me. Sometimes I get asked, you said, hey, this will go all the way down into the copper windings in the motor. Yes, that's where it goes. And they asked me, they said, well, is that copper wire and that magnetic wire the same? And the answer is no, it's not. We use magnetic wire here in the manufacturing of our motors at Flint and Walling. And that magnetic wire, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, has a thin film of insulation over it. And that insulation is very, very important. It bonds the wires together so they're not prematurely vibrating and wearing that insulation thin. So it'll go all the way down to there. So it's, it's magnetic wire that we use. Okay, all right, thanks, Dan. We'll wrap it up down here. And that daggone thing was grounded on all three legs. That's what he told me, he said it was grounded on all three legs. Almost like he was really trying to emphasize, dude, this was really, really grounded, right?